Let's talk wax. <laughs> this is all I got left, you guys. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about what I have left in these bins. talk about what I have left in these three bins here. A little backstory is that when I moved out here to Halifax, Nova Scotia three years ago, between candles and wax melts, mostly wax melts at the time, I think I had like five or six bins this size, and we'll go through them in, in shortly. And in the three years that we've lived here, of course, my, my stash has gone up and down and fluctuated with size, depending on the orders and how much I've gone through. Now we find ourselves moving back to British Columbia in not that long. In fact, I don't know when this video is going to go up. It could be in the middle of our move <laughs> when I post this video. But basically, I have not purchased a lot of wax in the year 2022. Very, very little. In fact, I think it's just a little bit of Walmart wax, I believe. Knowing that we were moving back to British Columbia from Nova Scotia, which is a long distance, I don't want in the middle of summer wax to be melted like my friend Ramona had her wax collection pretty much compromised uh, due to heat. But at least Canada isn't quite as hot as Texas was for Ramona and our stuff should be on the road from beginning to end about a total of 20 days. There might be a couple days where they have to wait in storage, but it takes about 10 days to drive across. So I just wanted to show you guys what I had left in my collection outside of the little melting basket that I have for the month of July because we are not here very long actually in the month of July. Again, I went from five of these bins to three of them. These are pretty full but not chockers full and they are a mixture between Walmart wax USA and Canada. There are vendor wax melts from various companies as well as I have chopped up candles from Bath and Body Works and I'll post a video link up here to show you what I do and why I do these things when it comes to the candles themselves. So let's just dive right into it. Let's just hope together that all of this wax makes it without melting from Nova Scotia to British Columbia, Canada. I'm just going to go and show you guys through each of these bins what I have left just kind of give you an overview all right you guys so we're gonna go work on bin number one here so I'm hoping I can get everything in frame I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what I've done it's kind of a bit of a mess because well lately I've been just kind of throwing everything together but what I try to do is in the, these bins I try to keep all the Walmart wax together all the different vendored wax together in one bin so that way if I'm pulling I'm not having to search all over now a lot of people do this differently sometimes they do it by seasonal sections I just do it by the vendor or you know Walmart wax that kind of thing this is all my Walmart wax here here and here with one extra here. We'll just pull this one here. We have caramel apple spice. Then we have by the pool, vanilla cookie crunch, which is a staple. It is so good on its own or mixed with things. Beach please, vanilla and peach. This is a USA only one. You can see that by the sticker. This you can get in Canada, but I haven't seen it in the value pack in Canada. So, but you can get the regular size. This is love spell. And then we have one last large one here and that is white Tahitian woods. I love this one for the summertime. So then we have this section here here and this section here they're all Walmart so we have one two we have two of my lavender lemonade from the US so good I have not melted it lately because I'm a little worried I'm all down to like those two then we have sugared lavender twist also an amazing scent a couple here one two and just the two here of the iced winter berry. This is USA only. I only like melting the cranberry ones, which this is. Around November, I find like right after Halloween, I like to do like cranberry scents. Then the next one we have here is red berry and oak. Apple butter crumble, found that one in Canada, which is cool. And berry lattice pie, again, found that in Canada. And this one here in the front is cotton grass, also found in Canada. This one here is I want to say my friend Teresa gave this to me. I'm not sure if it's Walmart or it might be like Hobby Lobby or something, but this is pumpkin spice latte. So I'm definitely saving this one for the fall. Then we have this particular lot here and this is in vanilla pine. Um, this is quite lovely. I think that was my only one. Yeah. Then we have Pacific Coast Highway, two of the blue sky. Really love this one for the bathroom. Then rainy day also lovely for the bathroom. I love this one, Starry Night, so I know I had to pick it up, right? <laughs> then we have Wander, Take a Hike. That would be nice to go there. 
Ooh, that's really pretty. And here we have Fiji Fantasy, which is like the destination collection or something, Bon Voyage collection that they did. Then we also have some mainstays here. We have pumpkins and plums and apple cider donut. I just have a couple Scentsy pieces here. I don't purchase a lot of Scentsy, but these particular two that are some of my top favorites. Huckleberry Clementine, so, so good. Love this one. This is sea salt and avocado. So that one's also very, very good. I also have a few Goose Creeks left. Let me just see here. I have three by the looks of it of the same one, which I love. This is the strawberry jam. Again, thank you to Ramona for getting me onto that one because it is delicious. A repurchase for me. I love this. I love eating these. Dutch stroopwafel. I love putting this over a really piping hot mug of tea and it's so good, <laughs> so yummy. This one here is Peach Cobbler Donut. So that is a new purchase for me. I haven't tried that one. And the last one I have left from Goose Creek is Marshmallow Sugar. So definitely gonna be diving into those. Unfortunately, Goose Creek does not ship to Canada, which kind of does suck, but you know, what do you do? Oh, I found another one. So I have four of these left. <laughs> I love this one. Can you tell, strawberry jam? And I have my zapes kind of split all over the place, wherever they would fit. So I have zape here. I have all of these are zape down here and then a bunch of the bags here. So let's go through these. So we have Beach Bonfire, Beach Bound Wax Melts, Pineapple Fizzy Pop, White Sands, Mahalo, Beach Towels. Oops, sorry guys, the labels are very white. Beach Towels. And then we have Beach Bum. I have this one in, let me see, I have it in Scrub, Body Scrub, as well as Whip Soap too. It's so good, you guys. And then loosely over here, we have two of one of my top favorite scents of all time. These are Lavender Soda. So good, puts a smile on your face. If you're in a bad mood, that will get you out of that bad mood. This is Salted Caramel Macchiato, beautiful coffee scent. Cubano, so that's gonna be that one there. And then the last one I have from Zape in the uh, clamshells is Bora Bora. So now we go on to these bagged items from Zape. So I'm just gonna pull these out. So we have pumpkin spice latte with whip, fireside pumpkin, apple cinnamon donuts. These are huge. Cut those up into like six pieces easily. Then we have something from Christmas, which is ginger nog harvest festival. I love this one, you guys. Black Magic Chai. If she comes out with that again this fall, I'll be all over it. We have a summer melt here. We have Yum Yum. Red Cup season. So yeah, coffee, bring it on the coffee. And these two are so cute. These are the big pies. This one here is in Kruger's Orchard. Cindy Lou Who. And then I have all of these down here. I'm just gonna uh, pull these out. I'm not gonna pull them out in individually. When she made her coffee sampler, I bought two of them. So I've gone through a complete set of coffee samplers from Zape. The lids are popping off still. Ah, that's the one thing I will say. I don't like this packaging. I prefer the hard you'll see them in the future. But um, I really did actually enjoy this more than I thought I would because on cold, they weren't particularly uh, stellar in, to my nose. They did perform really well. I found some more zape in the clamshell. This is in Fiji. This is flat white. One of my favorite coffee scents. Um, it is my favorite coffee scent from zape and it's one of my favorite coffees, coffee scents in general. And then we also have a white Christmas. Baby, it's cold outside. Then we have a few super tarts clamshells. So I've got all of these ones here and then I've got two loose ones. This one's in Fake and Bake. This is a repurchase after many, many years. I have purchased this many times. Sophia, also a beautiful melt as well. Rosalie, one of her top selling scents that she has. Again, this is Super Tarts. Casper, again, a repurchase for me. Um, I just know what I like now. And now after I've been doing this for so many years, I know which vendors I like. I know how they throw. Uh, this one's in Elm Street, perfect for fall. There's gonna be a lot of fall scented ones left here. Fairy Dust, also very good. Festival of Lights. Beautiful, again, I will probably melt that in the winter time this coming year. Minerva, one of my favorite scents of all times from any vendor of any category. You need one cube of this particular scent and if your place is, you know, decently sized, 1200 square feet or something, open concept, you will smell this for weeks. <laughs> Uh, no joke. So it's very, very potent and very good. Bridget Jones, also a great one. I love using that one in the fall as well as birds. Birds is also a pick that I use in the fall. So let's go on to the next bin. Okay, so as you guys can see here, we have a ton of super tarts, but they're in the BAM bag size. Then I have some rainbow melts right here, and there are various sizes, different collections. I have an order from super tarts since Wax Wednesday, which is the Wednesday before the American Thanksgiving, where everything is like 20% off, or it seems to have been the last few years. That is when I start collecting my scents and buying them in bulk, hence why you see them 
in this size. I'm really looking forward to moving into our new place so I can dive into some of these. I will have a lot more warmers going on in a larger space in our home. Uh, we're moving from a condo to our house that we've had um, on Vancouver Island. So I have more warmers already picked out, <laughs> already ready. So I'll def definitely be going through a lot more wax. If you thought I was going through a lot of wax before, well, look out. So let's go through some rainbow mounts. These are the breakaway bars or something. I can't remember what they're called, but this is in the Texas Road Trippin'. Then it's Kim and Ramona's Excellent Adventure and then Texas Triangle. These were created on behalf of Ramona and my road trip that we did, the Texas Triangle basically, and that's one of the names here. So um, Crystal was very sweet to do that. With that being said, I do have also the cookies, the last set of cookies, which is how they originally came out as. I don't want to open them. They're kind of like my keepsake because again, it was something very special. These are all in the same scent as these breakaway bars I just shared with you guys. So I, I just want to keep these as long as I can. So we have red nose here. I love this scent. I love ginger ale and I love cranberry. So perfect. Um, now there's a whole bunch of different sizes and they're from different samplers depending on whether it was Halloween or Christmas or what it was. There's a lot of Christmas here. A lot of these ones here, the little shapes, they're all, a lot of them are coffee. They're in the coffee sample she did. Again, anytime a vendor does a coffee sampler, I'm gonna buy two of them because I don't feel like we get enough of these kinds of samplers. So I buy two of these. So I'm not gonna go through every single one individually, but those ones are all coffee. We have Christmas, 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 Christmas. And then of course the, the road trip in ones. Basically the leftovers in this bin are all super tarts. They're all Bam Bag. So Bam Bag is about three, clamshells worth of product so let's just go right into them i'm just gonna go real fast jaws brody's bounty chomper ellen get out of the water chrissy's remains then we have go to sleep birds which you saw in this clamshell which i'll go i'll use first before i go into this bag we have uh, jasper minerva minerva you guys know this what i love i showed you that one also in a clamshell we have zombie bloody face chai felicia hedwig beauty and the beast times one two three so you know but when you see like say two minervas or two beauty and the beasts i like this one so much you guys beauty and the beast is probably my favorite scent of all time from anybody so i have to have lots so we have sleepy beauty we have magically delicious over here and then down here we have christmas morning it's gonna be so hard to see let me see if i can turn around a little bit there we go we have felicity holiday latte frankenstein predator times two um, predator is one of my favorite coffee scents of all time really love that one so that is the spin here again they're not chockers full like this half is pretty full this half i still have some room you know and I'm sure I'll fill it up when I get over to the other side <laughs> of the country and place more orders. So anyway, that's been number two. Kind of a different angle over here. So here we have a lot of bathing garden because I placed a huge order last summer at bathing garden. I also have destination wax here. I have some vintage chic scents. There's not a whole lot. There's a little section over here. So yeah, there's vintage chic scents here. Then down here, Right here is all the Bath and Body Works candles I chopped up. And again, I'll have already linked that video above so you guys can take a look at how or why I do that. So let's start tackle the Bath and Body Works portion here. So chopped up version of Cider Lane, pumpkin coconut, pure wonder, coconut cream pie, the pumpkin apple where the labels were all like flaked off. <laughs> this little bit here is all I have left of the infamous cranberry pumpkin, which I wish they would bring back, but they never do. They bring back pink petal tea cake which is okay in my mind they we've been wanting this one for so long it's not just me I know it's not just me so I'm like come on guys bring it back um, we have the original pumpkin pie which I only melt in October the cranberry only melt in November as I mentioned before Ooh, this one I would love to dive into and finish when it comes to the summertime when we get to the other side this is black coconut oh yes we have a radiant red maple which was infamously never brought back either I think there's been some dupes uh, but I don't know for sure but anyway that's another one I'd love to see come back I have one more bag of southbound and this is the cafe cream puffs one of my absolute favorite scents and this scent here is leaning more sweet coffee for me but it is beautiful and I really love this one so let's get into some vintage chic scents you can see sort of right here Central Park snow globe love this one this is a classic meet me in st. Louis oh and I have two of these this is God that's good 
So I have two of these ones, thank goodness, because it does smell very good. Sabrina Spellman, Craven, also a fall scent. Two of a scent that I would buy probably two loaves of if I could. This is Johanna, one of my favorites. And last but not least from Vintage Chic Scents, I have two of these big old blossom bars. Again, I would, pr I would purchase many of those classic scents in either blossom bars or loaves, multiples, because at this point I never see them come back and I'm a little worried they're never going to. This is Sweeney's Barbershop. I actually did go through a loaf of this all ready it's absolutely delightful one of my favorite bathroom scents this is the chicago outfit again one of the classics one of my favorites again if you're in a bad mood you melt some of this and it'll put a smile on your face because why wouldn't juicy blackberry mango infused ginger ale do that to you i ask you why all right so let's go into some the bathing garden so i have quite a few different styles of sizes of the bathing garden this one she started really producing a lot of uh different scents that i don't remember what this is called or like the size it's called but it's just quite jumbo it's jumbo wax and one of these cubes you can probably split into three pieces easily but I purchased a lot of what we're going to show you last summer some of it was winter a while ago but anyway I love the bathing garden this one here is in bum bum that's that one style then we have the medallions this is number two style I'm not going to open them up but they are different medallions one's a summer scent one's a well they're both kind of summer scents spring summer and then this one here which was the old way she used to deliver these in a box this is the new way with the little sachet little key it's always very intricate um there was a box that you could gift these this is winter palace in my absolute favorite scent from ba the bathing garden i have it in this size and you'll see it in, in a different way as well all right we also have cucumber seltzer rosemary mint very very lovely refreshing blend mermaid's tears this is an elf's morning blend this is one of my favorite coffee blends again i love that one for around christmas time it's got peppermint mocha and espresso winter palace this is the same as that box that i showed you but in a clam shell form then we have spiced eggnog chai tea beautiful for the fall winter again i really do love tea and coffee scents on weekends jack's apple frost one of my very first melts i was gifted was was one of these and i will never forget it and it's so unique and i love it and i have not smelt that blend from any other vendor this is reindeer town so as i mentioned you're going to see some winter collections and summer collections pumpkin latte cranberry fig ever apple salty mandarin margarita salty siren a classic of hers from the summertime tan lines sherbet scoops aunt bethany's jello mold pink sand pirate punch and last but not least we have take me to the sea which is actually the name of one of her collections in the summertime so it may actually be available right now so now we're going to work on the destination wax um this one they're all kind of backwards here so i'm going to show you guys i chopped up a loaf of moon spice cookie this is fantastic love this one i also chopped up a loaf in the vanilla lace 100 recommend if you love victoria's secrets uh vanilla lace i think it was the same name so that's my absolute favorite there's a sample here i have coffee epic day maybe i'll pull that i'm gonna pull this one out because i don't have enough coffee going on right now then we have cranberry fig cranberry citrus isle of sky chai tea of course this is hazelnut coffee, Coco Kona mocha, ginger cream cafe. I actually really, really love this one. Total surprise for me. Love it very, very much. This one is blackberry ginger ale. So just like Vintage Chic Scents Chicago outfit, this is also Destination Wax version of this and it's also very, very good. Cactus and sea salt, banana walnut torts, brandied pear and lastly we have mango sticky rice so there you have it you guys this is all the wax i have just those three bins and like i said fingers crossed that it makes it properly and not too warmly to british columbia on its truck ride all the way over because we're military we have packers that come in and do that but they're usually when we moved here they just put a sticker on our my bins and they just call it a day they're like yeah there's nothing breakable like i don't care if my wax breaks i truly don't what i do worry about of course is melting that's one thing i definitely think that you know it could happen let's hope that it's fine maybe a little you know a little bit worse for wear but otherwise fine so anyways fingers crossed everyone all right you guys if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already definitely subscribe down below that would be much appreciated and as always you guys be safe take care and have fun. Bye guys.